Welcome back. I'm Todd Ching, Director of Tennis at Governor's Club. Here's our third video in our series of at-home tennis to try to improve your game and help your serve. So let's review what we've done so far. We've worked on the toss and where to let go of the ball to create this more up and down, straight, vertical toss. We also talked about turning our body to create a little bit more mobility to reach back to allow us to kind of unwind and send more energy up to the ball. We also talked about the sequence, where we start with our stance here, two hands together. As a toss goes up, this hand, my racket hand comes down, and our hand faces our leg. Now we're gonna talk about a combination move where we bring our racket up and the knees drop. So here's the most common mistake we see with the knees. We'll start with the error, then we'll, start with, then we'll finish with the fix. So, tell me if this looks familiar. Okay, so I'll do that again. I'll bend my knees and then straighten my knees to toss the ball. Now, as with most other things, here's a couple things that happen that are going to have a negative impact on our serve. First of all, this coordination of bending our knees to toss the ball, it's kind of a misconception. Oh, I'm bending my knees. I must be using my legs and getting my energy into the ball. Well, as you can see, if I bend my knees to toss it, I now straighten my body. There's really nowhere for me to go. So now I can no longer use my legs. Energy is gone, now I'm just static. Here's the other part. Remember in the first video how we talked about a stable toss and how we have this nice motion going straight up and down? Well, now I'm adding a body movement to it, and guess what that's gonna do? That's going to create one more variable that can help throw my toss offline. And I use the word help kind of in air quotes. It's definitely not helping. So here's what I'm going to do as we go step by step. Again, this may be the last one that we do without a racket in our hand. So I've got my stance. I'm turning sideways. I've got my hands together. Handshake position, a little open or close. Toss goes up, racket hand goes down. Now here's the combination move. I'm going to bring my right hand up this way. Okay, so I'm not going to reach back behind me, and I'll do a side view in just a moment. But I'm going to take my hand, and I'm going to reach up this way. Now, the second part of this movement is, when my hand reaches the top, that's the same movement I'm going to bend my knees. I'm not going to talk about how to specifically bend my knees right now. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to coordinate the movement. So here I am. Starting position, I get to here. Now watch, two things happen at the same time. Up and down. Up and down. Now you can see my position right here. That's a beautiful trophy position. That's used in a lot of teachings these days and it's still relevant. So here's my side view. Starting position. That's the movement we did last time. Now I get to here. I'm going to raise this hand up and bend my knees at the same time. Here, bend. Okay, one more time. Down, up and bend. As you can see, when I get to this position right here, now the ball's in the air. Can you see how I've got this stored energy with my legs? My racket's in this position. I am all set and ready to go up unwind and unload. Okay, so let's again, let's do one more time with this movement. Hands together, right position. Down with this hand, up with the toss, up and bend. Now, once I've done my magical 20 repetitions, I'm going to do them all together. I'm not going to do this very fast. This isn't about can I do this at full realistic speed or not. This is, can I coordinate my movements so everything feels comfortable? This is going to take a little work, but you're going to get there. And that's what we're going to work on today. So get those steps going. Next video with the racket in the hand.